On June 20th of 1989, Prince released the Batman soundtrack, and I'm going to show you all the records I have and CDs from the Batman soundtrack. There are three records that came off of this that I do not have that are holy grails of mine. They are the Hong Kong 12-inch promos of Bat Dance, Arms of Orion, and Trust. I do not have those ones, but let's not focus on what I don't have. Here is what I do have. Batman soundtrack on CD. It's the tin can version. Opens up and there's a little booklet in the CD. Very nice. I've got the regular CD that I just bought a couple years ago because for some reason I never had it. So I wanted it in the jewel case. There it is in the jewel case. The only vinyl album I have of it is the United Kingdom picture disc. So there it is on picture disc. That's the full length album. And we start with the singles. Bat Dance was the first single. It was a number one hit in the United States. Here is the US 45 with 200 balloons on the B side. This is the US 12 inch single. It's got the remixes on it with 200 balloons. The United States promo of the radio version. The United States promo with the remixes on it. That's the one with the cool orange label. This is the United States test pressing. Got, got the cool stickers here. There is a version that has a Batman sticker on it. I don't have that. And unfortunately, there's a lot of writing on mine, but still a pretty cool record to have nonetheless. Bought that as a placeholder until I find a better copy. This is the United States gold stamp promo version of Bat Dance. Then we go to Australia, the original version of Bat Dance they released. Was well, just Bat Dance and 200 balloons on the back, and it's got the uh, cool Bat Dance sticker on it and the price tag sticker. The second Australian copy is actually the remix version, even though on the back of the sleeve it only shows Bat Dance and 200 balloons. That's not correct. The remix versions are actually on this. The next Australian version is the version that has the remixes listed on the back and is the remixes on the record. Up next, we got one. It's a promo from Brazil. As you can see, there is some Portuguese written on it. I think that's pretty cool. One of my favorites. It's got the lyrics to Bat Dance on the back. Up next, we have the Canadian copy. It's just like the United States copy, only it was pressed in Canada. Here is the German version that has 200 balloons and Bat Dance, the album version on it. Here is the remixes from Germany. The Vicky Vale mix, and the Bat mix, and 200 balloons. This is uh, the Philippines. The LP version of Bat Dance is on one side. The other side only shows 200 balloons on the label, but actually has the Vicky Vale mix on it as well. So that's the Philippines. Here's the United Kingdom. This is the version with just the uh, album version and 200 balloons on it. Next is the United Kingdom with the remixes. Up next, we have the United Kingdom. It looks like the Batman soundtrack, but this is actually just Bat Dance picture disc. This is one of my favorites in the whole lot here. The Venezuelan pressing of Bat Dance. It's uh, Bat Dance and the Bat Mix on the B-side. Give you a look at the uh, label here. That's the Venezuelan version. Love it. Here is Bat Dance, came out in the Record Store Day, a reissue from the United States. The second single we released was Party Man, and I've got the Party Man CD single promo. Party Man, the United States, 45, with Feel You Up. Party Man, backed with Cool, a live version from Prince. Uh, this was released not too long ago, a posthumous release. It's the Party Man from the United States. Got the remixes on it and the short version of Feel You Up. This is the promo, the United States promo for Party Man. United States remix test pressing of Party Man. Those, uh, test pressings are pretty cool. This is the Australian version of Party Man. Got the remixes on it and the short version of Feel You Up. Canada. This one is just like the United States version. Got the short version of Feel You Up. 
Pretty Man from Germany. This is the video mix, and the B-side is the long version, or the long stroke of Feel You Up. Then Germany released the remix version, but the remix version has the short version of Feel You Up on the B-side. The United Kingdom got the video mix and the long stroke of Feel You Up on the B-side. Then the United Kingdom released a promo of Party Man. It's a one-sided promo. There's nothing on the other side. The United Kingdom picture disc, Party Man the video mix, and Feel You Up the long stroke. Then there was the United States reissue with the short version of Feel You Up. The third single off the Batman soundtrack was The Arms of Orion featuring Sheena Easton. And here is the CD single promo. The United States 45 with I Love You and Me on the B-side. The German copy of the 12-inch single. The United States didn't get this on a 12-inch single. United Kingdom got it with I Love You and Me on it as well. The short version and the album version of The Arms of Orion on it. Here is the United Kingdom promo with the cool insert. Here's the United Kingdom picture disc. I love the uh, back picture there. The next single, the fourth single off of the album was Scandalous. Here is Scandalous, backed with When Two Are In Love, the US 45. This is the Spanish 45. I actually bought it because it is a version called The Crime. It's an edited version of the long version of Scandalous. It uh, fades out after about six and a half minutes. And that is the Spanish promo. The United States Scandalous Sex Suite. Got the 19-minute version of Scandalous. Sex and When Two Are In Love are on the B-side. Scandalous LP version and edit version. It's the U.S. promo. Scandalous Sex Suite. This is the test pressing from the United States. Scandalous Sex Suite from Australia. It's the same track listing as the U.S. version. This is Scandalous from Brazil, a promo. And as you can see, that is a totally different cover than any of the other Scandalous. Scandalous Sex Suite now from Canada. That is not the back cover of this. That's just something that came with it when I bought it. There's the back cover. Only difference from this in the US version is that this was pressed in Canada. Here is the German version. There's actually two versions of the German. That's one. And this is the other one. What is the difference you may be asking? Believe it or not, the difference is they both had different catalog numbers. This is the Scandalous Sex Suite, the United Kingdom promo. Kind of strange, the United Kingdom promo had the crime and the passion on one side and the rapture on the other side. Usually those three were all together as one track uh, and sex also on the B side of that one. The next single was only released in Europe. Here's a European version of the CD single for The Future. This is the remix, The Future and Electric Chair remix. The German 12-inch single of the future. This one, I'm going to have to uh, take it out for a second, has a time listed on the label of 6 minutes and 39 seconds. This one from Germany, if you look at the label, the time is listed as 6 minutes and 25 seconds, so it's a variation on the labels. Once again, the Hong Kong promos for Bat Dance, The Arms of Orion, and Trust are my holy grail items that I do not have off this album. But that is what I do have. And I appreciate you watching this video on the anniversary of the Batman soundtrack being released.